Uh, my name's uh, Jamie Cutts, and I'm the photographer and multimedia technician for Aberdeenshire Museum Service. My job is to uh, digitise the uh, collections that we hold here in the Museum Service. Anything from uh, archival material, paper material, books, um, taxidermy, ethnography, geology, fossils, arms and armour, paintings, anything and everything that I digitise in one way or another. We have a vast collection of photographs, images, uh, probably 60,000 plus, uh, anything from glass plate negatives to uh, hard copy paper and then flexible negatives as well. Again, we're digitising those bit by bit as we go along. Uh, the entire collection uh, probably numbers in the excess of quarter of a million objects, individual objects, um, and I've probably photographed about 6,000 of them so far. Our facilities here are really very good. We have uh, what's called a high glide system, which means I can move the lights back and forth, uh, up and down, uh, saves me tripping over cables and things as uh, we, we had before on tripods, but now it's all hung from the ceiling, which makes it all very user-friendly and I can move our lights from one side of the studio, which I would photograph the smaller objects here, to the other side of the studio where I would photograph much larger freestanding objects. I can just move the lights over to the other side of the room. We also have uh, copy tables, which I can photograph the uh, smaller, flatter objects, uh, like archival material, paper, books. I'm photographing a lot of coins at the moment, so I photograph those on the uh, copy table, which basically means I just have the camera right above the object and it's fairly simple and uh, I can get some nice lighting on the coins there to pick up all the detail and things. And in this case, today I've photographed um, this an Indian drum. I, I like to try and get an overall good exposure of it, uh, a high key shot which shows up every uh, detail so it's nice and clear but also I also like to try and get a, a bit of form to it a bit of shape so people can see it it's three-dimensional and uh, that's that's a nice balancing act that uh, I try to uh, get for for every object after I photograph the objects I would put it onto the uh, onto our database and then it goes live for anybody to search after that uh, the smallest item I photographed is probably a, a microlith a uh, prehistoric microlith, which is probably about that size, maybe less than a centimetre, uh, using macro lenses. And, and the largest object I suppose we have is a threshing machine from the agricultural collection. So that couldn't obviously come in this building, I had to go off and photograph it and set up the lighting for it, just to get a, a good photograph. And that's, that's what makes life interesting. Every day is different. Some days I'll be photographing objects like this. Next day it might be uh, archival material, which is very flat. And obviously I can just take a, a standard shot for that. But uh, on other days it's photographing beautiful objects like this.